Four days after this terrible time in your life, United get a new manager, Eric Ten Hag. Did you know much about him? A little bit uh, through Ajax, the job that he did for Ajax. You end the season with 24 goals for Manchester United, including 18 in the Premier League, six in the Champions League. You were second in the golden boot for the uh, English football. I mean, by any normal yardstick, that's an incredible performance. And yet you were still getting criticised. It was almost like, well, it's got to be your fault, even though you scored all the goals. Were you as bemused as I was that you were becoming the focal point for the criticism? I think it's easy, it's easy to point out when you want to cover other things, to, put, to point out Cristiano Ronaldo. It's, it's, it's easy. Everyone now that that press, they want to... They want to put me in the first page because they know they will sell more, the interesting will be different. And I'm used to live like that because, you know, as 37, uh, I know and I learn many things. Um, when you are in the down of the wave, when you are in the top of the wave, it's, you don't realize and you don't see things that you don't see before, which is I appreciate to have bad moments to see which people is in your side, who criticize you more, because they're looking for that. Um, they don't like to see successful people. The people only try to bring negativism. And I felt the last four or five months that not only with, for me, but even for my family as well, for Georgina, especially around the world, the press criticized me even more. I, I, sometimes I don't, I don't understand why. Even uh, Portuguese press, that they criticize, criticize me a lot. I don't understand, but I still believe that the jealousy is part of that. Um, they want to cover many things that helps to, to, to shine other things. But listen, Pierce, I know I'm 20, uh, 21 years in the top of the game, so I know all it takes. So for me, it's not a problem. It's, it's, it's hard when you are a little bit down to listen to this criticize. Do you, do you read it all? Do you read newspapers? Do you read social media? A good thing that I have, it's I don't like to read because I know 90% uh, of the times they lie. They are garbage. The press, they are garbage. Not all of them, but most of them. They don't say the truth. Um, and they lie, they constant lie and they constant attack me and my family. They always negativism against my family. Why I'm going to read? Because I know they try to, to, to make me feel bad, me and my family, which is, is, is something hard to deal. But in the end of the day, I understand. But it's, it's really, really hard. The problem you have is you're too famous. You are the most followed human being on Instagram. That you have, I just checked, 495 million followers. I have just under 2 million on Instagram. 8 million <laughs> on Twitter, so I'm catching you on Twitter slowly. But, but 400, you're nearly at half a billion followers on Instagram. I mean, that's insane. You're bigger than all the Kardashians put together. It's good. It's good. I feel proud for that. It means, it means a lot for me because it means that people like me too i'm charismatic i think why i'm the number one sometimes asking ask that question to myself why me and not another one why because do you think I, it is to be honest i not just only because i i play good football because everyone knows but i think the rest is is relevant you have to be charismatic people have to to feel some connection with you i think to be Good looking helps too. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have the same problem. Yeah, I feel the same way. To be honest, Pierce, I don't know the real reason, but I think I'm charismatic and I'm 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 a petitive fruit. I don't know if we a what a fruit that oh, yeah. people want to bite. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know the, the how, how you can say in English. Any particular fruit or let's like, say like peach? strawberry. <laughs> 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 but I don't know the. The reason. I mean, what's incredible to me is the, the power you have. Appetite, to, to appetite. Appetite. Appetite fruit. Appetite fruit. I don't know if it makes sense in English, but if, you, if it doesn't make sense, you'll learn. I'll, I'll research appetite fruit, yeah. I mean, 
I have a pinned tweet, and it's you telling me I have good abdominals, which is a very good observation. <laughs> and it's only 10 seconds long. It's had 43 million views, this clip. <laughs> so thank you. Uh, because oh, 43 million people have heard the guy who actually has, has got good abdominals <laughs> tell me I've got good abdominals. But it showed me the, the sheer firepower you have in that, in that world of social media. It's just extraordinary. It's, it's, it's what, I, what I told you before. Um, I, have, uh, I have good things, which is, is you, you can sell your own product, let's say in that way, but you have to, to deal with many obstacles in your life too. Do you care if people hate you? I mean, a lot of people love you, but obviously a lot of people don't. You're so big, you're going to get both. But do you care about the ones who I care, hate Cristiano Ronaldo? I care the people who like me. I'm not waste time for the people who don't like me. I think it's waste of time. These, these people, they are, they are not interesting on my life. I'm, I, I like to be ar surround, around the people who love me. I don't, I don't waste my time to, to see the criticism of people who is next to me, ex-players, for example. Uh, I well, don't I mean, one of your that. biggest critics has been, and I'm surprised about this, me too. Wayne Rooney, for who, example. Who you played with for many years very successfully and were good friends with him. And yet all this year, three or four times, he's come out and attacked you in the media. Pierce, I don't understand. Uh, you should ask this question to him, but I don't know. Um, I don't know why he criticized me so bad or I don't he says, believe he that says, he's jealous of me. He says your behavior is unacceptable. United should sell you. You know, blah, 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 blah. I mean, it's way rude. It surprised like me. It was one year ago or six months ago here in my house. He pick up his kids here and invite Cristiano to go to his house to play football. I, don't, I really don't understand people like that or if they want to be in the cover of the, of the paper, of the news, or they want a new jobs or whatever. Is it jealousy as well, perhaps, that you're still playing and Still in the probably, United probably, United probably because he finished his career with 30s, so I'm still playing high level. I'm not going to say that I'm looking better than him, which is, is, is true, but... <laughs> <laughs> but it's, that it's, is inarguable. I mean, there's no contest. It's, it's hard to listen that kind of criticize and negative about people who play with you. For example, Gary Neville as well. Yeah, I mean, Gary Neville, you blanked him the other day uh, on the pitch, and he looked quite upset, actually because um, he obviously likes being your friend, but he's been pretty critical of you as well. When you people have, when can, have, can have his own opinion, but they don't really know what's going on, for example, inside the, the, the training ground and Carrington area or even my life. They should listen not only one point of view, they have to listen to my point of view as well, because it's easy to, to criticize, but if you don't know the old story, it's, it's, it's easy, you know. But it's, Pierce, as I said before, it's, it's part of... Are they of, still friends of yours, or do you have a line where... They are not my friends. Uh, they are colleagues. We play together. They, they're not coming. We not have a dinner together, for example. But, as I told you, Pierce, before, it's part of my journey. They, kill, they keep cri criticize me, negativism, uh, every time. So I follow, I continue my, my trip. And uh, I have to catch up the people who like me. Some of your ex-colleagues have been incredibly supportive. Rio Ferdinand has always got your back. Roy Keane always has your back. Whatever happens, he's always supported you and has continued to do so. Does that mean a lot to you? It means a lot because they, I was in the dressing room with them. They are part of my journey in football as well. Uh, as I mentioned many times, Roy Keane for me was my best captain ever. Rio Ferdinand they helped me a lot. He was my neighbor. I was his neighbor. So very, very good guys. Not just because they speak good about me, but they, they was there in the dressing room. They are football players. They know how players thinking and the behaves, etc. And to listen ace, ex uh, colleagues or teammates to criticize you and they always see uh, one point of view. Do you feel a bit? But do you feel? a bit betrayed when they do that because, yes, you, because you play together. It's easy. It's easy to criticize. I don't know if you have a job in television that they must criticize to, a, to be more famous. I really don't understand. Do you think they use your name a bit to get attention? I think they take advantage 
of that because they are not stupid. And I really understand and I have to carry on with my life with criticize, criticize or, or when the people speak good about you. But it's hard when you see people who was in the dressing room with you criticizing that way. It must hurt. It's not good. Yeah. Yes, I did. But I not hurt. I, I, I'm not going to be more slim. I'm not going to sleep bad because of the criticize. But it's not good to listen to that. Disappointing. A little bit, yes, disappointing. Next on Uncensored, expect fireworks in the explosive second half of my 90 minutes with Ronaldo. Your baby daughter's in hospital. And the president of uh, Manchester United didn't believe the empathy don't exist. The Glazers, they don't, they don't care about, about the club. What would your message be to Manchester United fans? The fans, for me, will be always in my heart. He was deliberately provoking you. I didn't felt that he had respect for me. Cristiano Ronaldo's 12 rules to life. Why not? Imagine the rest of the rats, they're going to criticize <laughs> me too. <laughs> I'm just trying to work out how Wayne Rooney could hate you even more. They only speak about the black chip, which is me. They're trying to force you out. Yes, not only the coach, but the other two or three guys there around the club. Yes, I feel betrayed. If you don't have respect for me, I'm never going to have respect for you. You think England have a, have a chance? I have a chance beside Portugal, in my opinion. That's it, you retire, right? Yeah, I retire. 100%. You won't want to miss it. Whatever you're up to, keep it uncensored.